been about two years since I'd made any videos. I think it was 2019, 2020. And that's because the internet service where I live is just, it's horrible. I had no upload this whole time. So I haven't really did any videos. I'm still getting used to the equipment that I have. Video cameras, sound equipment, lighting, all that stuff. I've got poor lighting in here. Having some remodeling done to the house. This is going to be my office where I'll be doing some videos in the future. So for right now it is what it is. Hopefully it turns out good. Hopefully the audio is good. Video quality is good enough to where you can see what's going on. But I just recently purchased this um, Hamilton Beach 8 quart slow cooker. And after looking at it, I think it's worth doing a review on. Slow cookers over the past, I don't know how long, maybe 8-10 years, they've just become garbage. Even the granddaddy of all, which I think is Crock-Pot brand, they ain't nothing like they used to be. They're garbage. So this one here, I was looking at it, and the reviews out of five-star reviews, the majority of the reviews are five-star. The rest of the reviews are four-star, and there's nothing lower than a four-star review that I've seen on this Crock-Pot. So I decided to go ahead and get it and give it a try. I was looking at reviews on YouTube for this specific model and one of my main concerns was did it have four feet or three feet underneath it? That's a major problem with most of the new crock pots. They only have three feet underneath them and that makes it very unstable and wobbly to where it can tilt back on an angle and things can splash out, cause damage or burn you. This one here, you don't have that problem. It's got four feet underneath it that keep it stable it's safe and secure so that's the first added plus to this one when it comes oh another question is the box all of them everybody complains that the cords are too short it would be nice if this cord was longer you never want to use an extension cord on these uh, I should have measured this but I'd say it's approximately about a foot and ten inches maybe two feet I don't know I'm not sure on that but that should be sufficient to reach into a wall outlet on your counter right out of the box this is the position that the lid holder is in right here you turn it and it comes off <clears throat> And then to reattach it, which is kind of hard because it's backwards and I can't see what I'm doing over here. You just put it on like that. When it's not in use, you can use that to wrap the cord around it. And then when it is in use, just take the cord off of there, you plug it in. And when you need to take the lid off, I've got small hands. This lid should be bigger or a different type, it's a little bit small. And it goes like that and everything drips down into it, which is good. <clears throat> if you use this on the high setting and you're working with it from the front as you should be, it will be very easy to burn your wrist. When you take the lid off and you're trying to set it back there, you can see how it comes into contact with your arm or your wrist. <clears throat> that could use improvement. But an alternative to that, you can have a folded up bath towel, set that on the counter next to it. That way if you have a cool counter, there's no chance of cracking or shattering the lid. I'm not sure what the lid's made out of. Some type of acrylic or a type of plastic or something. I don't think it's glass. It might be. That seems to be good quality. There's no rubber gasket or seal in here. It really does need a little vent hole in there to relieve the steam. I did a water test with it when I first got it to make sure that it was functioning. Due to the size of this, being 8 quart, I had to put 6 cups of water in there. I turned the setting to high. It has 3 settings. Off doesn't count as a setting, but it's got off. The first setting is keep warm. 
Second setting is low, which you're going to do the majority of your cooking in. And then the other setting is high. That's if you want to cook something really quick. So to break it in, I put six cups of water in there. And then I put it on the high setting. And this is perfectly normal. It might scare some people because you're going to smell what smells like an electrical fire. And that's perfectly normal. All that is is the heating element or elements inside heating up for the very first time. And that will cause an electrical odor, which could be concerning to some people. So you should stay within view of it during that time. I've never heard anything bad about this slow cooker. I've never heard of them catching on fire. But when you're testing something for the first time, you should always stay within view of it. That way you know what's going on. Okay, so on to the next part of it. The insert is completely ceramic from the appearance. I think it's ceramic all the way through. It's a nice smooth even finish on there. Both the insert and the lid can be hand washed and they're also dishwater or dishwasher safe. A lot of these slow cookers will have a hole on the inside where spillage or when you're cleaning water can get down into it this one is completely sealed but you still need to be careful when you clean this part of it that you just use a warm damp probably soapy cloth and dry it out really good as soon as you're done this is very light um, the outside of this entire slow cooker gets really hot you can burn yourself on it they need to improve on that Maybe put some type of an insulation barrier in between the outside and the inside to reduce the amount of heat that reaches the outside. These handles stay cool all the time. The insert has handles. Those get pretty hot too when it's on the high setting. I've never used it on the low setting yet. I haven't cooked with it yet. I only tested it out yesterday with the water like I just explained. On high setting you're going to have to use oven mitts or gloves or something if you need to take this out to move it to a table or something then set it on something that can handle the heat so you don't damage your table it's a little bit bigger than what I thought because any of the sizes smaller than this one they only have the three feet on the bottom which is dangerous because it makes it wobbly and things can spill out when you're stirring it and make a mess or worse yet it can burn you um, what else is there about this thing that I can say? That's probably about it. I'm planning on cooking my first meal in it tomorrow. I still have to go to the store, unfortunately, and get a few ingredients. My garden was a failure last year due to the construction on the house here. I no longer have access to my well. We've got an old hand-dug well that I used to stick a hose down into and use a pump and run the hose out to my garden but I couldn't do that last year so I lost the majority of my garden the only thing I got out of it was enough tomatoes to make some sauce and some paste but I've got no onions I've got no taters got no corn I've got some herbs this year it's going to be a failure again because I still haven't finished the work on the house yet it should have been done by spring but that's a totally different story that I don't need to discuss openly on the internet. But anyways, this review is about the Hamilton Beach 8-quart slow cooker. So far, I'm impressed by it. Oh, the other thing, too, is most, if not all, of the other slow cookers, there's metal casing around the outside. When you push in on it, it flexes and it bends, and you got to be careful because you can dent it. This one is stronger. I mean, it feels like it's still kind of thin. Sounds a little thin and tinny, but when you push on it, it barely flexes and you don't dent it. So overall, that explains why this thing has no lower than a four-star review. I think it's a very good slow cooker. It's got great potential. I'm going to test it out for the first time tomorrow. I think I'm going to probably make up a batch of lasagna. And... Um, I'm going to get that on video too. 
That way you can see the ingredients. I usually don't measure things. I need to start doing that and making recipes. But tomorrow I'm going to make another video on this in use, cooking the first meal, and let you all know how that goes.